look like it's supposed to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Neosporin that does not have a painkiller in it. It has to be just regular Neosporin because the painkiller can actually kill chickens. And you just dab a little Neosporin on it to protect it and make sure that it doesn't get infected. is absorbed. actually ready to go into the brooder at any moment, but he's the only one that's hatched that's ready to go right now. I mean, he's a cute little thing. That's all he wants to do. So, here we are a day later. The chicks are in the brooder. Here is the little male. As you can see, his navel's healed up. He can run around without any fear of having anything happen to him. He's not trying to bleed out anymore. He's also trying not to get off my hand. <laughs> and this is the little female that had her horrendous gross hatch. And she still looks awful. But, and if I can get her to flip. She's so tiny. Her navel is also healed up. It looks bad, but it's actually not. She's healed up nicely. Well, it's not fully healed yet. But it's closed up enough that it's not going to hurt at all. He 
you, all three of you don't fit under there. I guess she's the winner. But now they won't have any issues with infection since it's scabbed over. So I don't have to worry about a yolk sac infection, which can happen, and it's awful. And I also don't have to worry about the site getting infected. A little bit of Neosporin or just any old triple antibiotic with no painkiller does a lot of good for these chicks.